Amidst the countless stars that dot the cosmic expanse lies a world that has captured the imagination of scientists. An entire solar system that could answer one of humanity's biggest questions. To unveil the secrets of this distant realm, we must embark on a cosmic journey spanning 40 light years in the constellation Aquarius. Here, we encounter Trappist-1, a cool red dwarf star. This star is slightly larger than Jupiter and has a mass of about 9% of the Sun. Trappist-1 is estimated to be 7.6 billion years old, about 3 billion years older than the Sun. What makes this red dwarf special are the seven Earth-sized planets it has. The first three planets, Trappist-1b, 1c and 1d, are all rocky worlds with mass very close to the Earth. But their proximity to the star renders their surfaces searingly hot, diminishing the possibility of life as we know it. The most promising candidate for habitability within the Trappist-1 system emerges with the fourth planet, Trappist-1e. Positioned at a distance of 4.4 million kilometers from its parent star, it completes an orbit in 6.1 Earth days. This planet receives roughly the same amount of light from its star as Earth does from the Sun. If Trappist-1e has an atmosphere, it could be warm enough for liquid water on its surface. Its proximity to the star suggests that it may be tidally locked, with one side permanently facing the star and experiencing extreme heat, while the other side remains in perpetual darkness and cold. The fifth planet, Trappist-1f, also orbits in the habitable zone and has a similar size to Earth. It orbits the star in about 9.2 Earth days, and it receives only a third of the sunlight as our planet does. Trappist-1f is probably a lot cooler. Without an atmosphere, its temperature would be minus 59 degrees Celsius, but with a thick Venus-like atmosphere, its temperature might reach above the freezing point. The density of Trappist-1f's atmosphere is unknown, but is crucial in determining the planet's potential habitability. Our next planet, Trappist-1g, is slightly larger than Earth. It orbits a little too far from the star. It receives just a quarter of the light from its star, as Earth does from the Sun. And it could very well be a so-called Hycean world. A Hycean planet is a special type of planet with a hydrogen-rich atmosphere with liquid water oceans. The seventh and the outermost planet, Trappist-1h, orbits the star at a distance of 9.26 million kilometers. This planet orbits the star in about 18.8 .8 Earth days. It is less well characterized compared to the inner planets. Due to its distance from the star, Trappist-1h is more likely to be a frozen ball of ice with no possibility of life as we know it. Which one of these planets is the most likely candidate for alien life? Leave a like and let us know in the comments below.